Hi guys and welcome to Brave Dog Training Online's Women Power Playlist. Today we're gonna talk about how to choose a dog training method that fits not only your dog but your own intuition. Have fun! Alright, so what I hear very often in training is is it okay if I'm soft to my dog or if is it okay if I pet my dog when he asks for it or is it okay if I let my dog sit on a sofa or sleep in a bed and the thing is when I started with my first dog I believed what was out there that you have to be strict all the time, that you have to be the leader all the time, that you have to be the alpha and more dominant than your dog and things like that. And it felt really wrong. It felt totally wrong to get the dog behind me all the time, to walk through doors all the time first, um, to not allow the dog, whatever privileges there are, or whatever we see as privileges, <laughs> It felt really wrong and so I had a really really hard time doing it but I did it because everybody said it has to be done right and then I had my first appointment with my first trainer and she <laughs> relieved me of all those things so she showed me a completely different way of going at things and just teaching my dog the stuff I really needed and showing me that it's not important what everybody does or what everybody thinks has to be done what's important is what I needed my dog to be able to do and what I needed from my dog in our day-to-day -day life. All right, so, so, of course, in my opinion, I like working in a team with my dog. I like being kind to my dog and I like teaching my dog things in a way he really understands, but still try to implement his own needs into our day-to-day -day routines, into our training, and just have fun together. That feels right to me. And there are different styles, different training styles, different methods out there. What I can tell you is that punishment works and rewards work. Both of these huge camps work. You can pick and choose what feels right for you. What definitely is not true is that a dog is a pack animal. They are not. When you look at free roaming dogs and street dogs, they build very loose groups with no hierarchy, no strict hierarchy. And there can be no hierarchy between two species. So a human and a dog cannot build a hierarchy. It's not possible. And knowing that was a real game changer for me because it meant I did not have to be dominant all the time because dominance is something we can just call it resource guarding and be done with it. <laughs> there is no such thing as a dominant dog. It's not it's not happening <laughs> okay so yes you can be kind to your dog yes you can work with positive reinforcement with whatever tool you like and what is allowed of course <laughs> we do not want to do anything abusive right otherwise you wouldn't watch me anyway so okay um but yes you can trust your intuition Right? And don't listen to people who are telling you that you have to be strict or dominant or the alpha or whatever. 
doesn't feel right and it doesn't feel right for a reason. And if you're not quite sure how this can work for you and your dog with a completely force-free training, go to the description, book a free call, we talk about it and we see how it can look like. <laughs> All right? So I wish you an amazing time training. It can be so much fun when we just take the pressure out. Enjoy your time together. Bye.